Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make something a little different. I'm going to be showing you how to make a Game Boy Color. I'm not sure whether you guys will like this or not, but I suppose we'll see. And just a disclaimer before I get things started, whilst this is one of the larger projects, and whilst these very rarely go well in terms of me showing you how to make them, this one is actually pretty simple, and I think I've figured out the easiest way to show you how to make it. So, bearing all that in mind, if you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need... Black wool, purple wool, red, yellow, brown, and white wool. They're the only colours that you're going to need, so I would also suggest grabbing a bed as well. It's going to be a long one. So once you've got your colours and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to make it right here. You're going to want to start off with a row of 32 black wool in a row on the floor. And just to reiterate that, 32, 3, 2. So 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. I'm going to need a higher lung capacity for this one. So that's what you want to have. Exactly like that, that is going to be the base layer of our Game Boy. And once you've got that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lay a similar row on top of it, except this row wants to be extended out by one either side, giving you a row of 34 laying on top of your row of 32. So it just wants to look like that. And all you have to do is go over it and just add one on to each end like that. Now I'm deliberating which side I want to start on. Do I want to start on the left or the right side? I already know the answer to that. It's always the left side. So come over to the left side here. And what you're going to want to do on top of this row, you're going to want to figure out where the second block of the row is. It's right here. And then you're going to want to place three blocks on top of the row coming out. And it should overhang the previous row by one, like that. Then, what you're going to want to do, starting on the end block of the row of three that you've just made, you're just going to want to place one block on top and one block to the left of it, giving you something that looks a little like that. Pause that if necessary. It's important that you get that right because this next row is going to be a biggie. So, what you're going to want to do on top of this left block of the two that you just placed, you're going to want to place a row of 52 going straight up in the air. And just to reiterate that again, since the numbers are important for this build, 52, 52. So I'm going to get in a more advantageous position. Here we go, and let's start building. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Jesus Christ. There we go. So that's what you want to have. A giant row of 52 stuck on top of that left end block there. Then, what you're going to want to do, once you're at the top of your row of 52, the top two blocks, you just want to extend the one to the right, like that. Giving you kind of like a square balanced on top of this uh, single row here. And then, what you're going to want to do with the row that you've just made, is you're just going to want to add another row to the left of it, except this row wants to be slightly different. The row to the left of it wants to start one block underneath the top of the row that you've just done, so here, and it wants to end two blocks short of the bottom. So let me just show you what that looks like. So I've went all the way down, uh, you know, I didn't really mean to do that. So all you have to do if you do the same thing, just knock out those two. So you want to have a gap of two at the bottom, and you want to have a gap of one at the top. And let me just show you what that looks like. Let me... I'm going to have to go a little further out for this one. There we go. That's what you want to have. You want to have something that looks like that. That might not help you so much since it is such a large row, but just to reiterate what I've done there, so there's no confusion, you have just done a row of 52 
at the top to the right of it you've just done two blocks on uh, to the right of the two top blocks and then on the left you've added another row that is one short of the row of 52 at the top and two short of it at the bottom so that's what you've done what we're going to be doing now is the exact same thing however we're going to be doing it on the other side it's easier if we make it bilaterally like this if we do one side then the other one side then the other so let's uh, Let's go over to this side, and again, we're just going to be mimicking what we've done, so... Over here, if you remember, you want to find the second block in, and you're just going to want to go three blocks to the right, going outwards, like that. Then, you're going to want to, on top of this end block here, you're going to want to go up one, and right one, giving you the platform of our 52, and then we're going to want to do exactly that, we're going to want to add another 52 on top of this little end block here and let me just show you again maybe maybe get a better still of it for you just in case you need it that's what you want to have before you start marking up the 52 so doing the 52 again I'm gonna get in a more advantageous there we go that's a nice position so let's start off one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Uh, higher lung capacity indeed. I need an oxygen tank here. So once you've done your row of 52, exactly like we did on the other side, you're going to want to, at the top, just extend out the top two blocks, two to the left this time, like that. And you're also going to want to add that row on. And that row, it will be on the right this time. One away from the top, and two away from the bottom. So, let's just do that. Knock that block out. Two away from the bottom one away from the top. And let me just show you what that looks like once we have done it. I will tell you one good thing, it would seem, just by looking at it, that both rows are the same. That's always positive. It means I've counted right. Although we'll be figuring out that very shortly. So that's what you want to have. We've pretty much almost done with the outline. We just want to throw the top row on top. The top row on top, that's pretty redundant. Yeah, we just want to do the top of the Game Boy, and it's going to be getting ever so slightly dark very soon. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it out here, and I will be back shortly. Alrighty then, continuing on, next thing on the agenda is for us to add a top to our Game Boy. So what you want to do is come to the, well, the top of our pixel art, and we're going to want to connect this square that we have on the left, and this square that we have on the right together. So from top row to top row, you just want to bridge the gap with a single row of black wool. Exactly like I'm doing now. So you just want to have something that looks like that. And that's looking a little too squarish for my liking, so what we're going to do is add another row on top. This row is going to be slightly shorter than the row that we have here, in which we just want to leave two blocks off either side. So, one, two, start on the third, and you want to do the same thing on the other side as well. So just leave two blocks alone on the right side. So... Exactly like that, leaving two, and that should give us a completed outline. Let me just show you the top of it first. There you go, pause that if necessary, and let me show you what the whole outline should look like so far. Hopefully, you should have had no problems making it. It's essentially just a... just a giant... I don't know whether you'd classify it as like an oblong. Maybe. More square than a knob one. I'm not sure that you can even have circles in Minecraft. So that's what you want to have anyway. That's the general shape. That's the finished outline of our Game Boy. Pause that if necessary. Make sure yours looks like that. And we can continue on to the next step. Alright, so the next big thing that we have to do is put in the screen to our Game Boy. So what you want to do is come over to the top left hand corner over here. And you're going to want to, underneath this block that I've got highlighted, this little single one that kind of overhangs the outline by one, underneath here you're going to want to take out your purple, and you're going to want to do two purple blocks going down from it like that. Then what you're going to want to do, the bottom purple, you're going to want to bring it towards the center by three, so one, two, three. And once you've done that, once you've got like a, a sideways L shape, J shape, 
I can't even identify letters anymore. Once you've done that, you're going to want to go over to the other side and do the exact same thing. So underneath this little single block, down two, not three. Then just bring it towards the center by three. And once you've done that on both sides, what you want to do is you just want to connect the two rows of purple that you've made together in the middle. So just with your black wool, connect the right to the left, left to the right together like that. And that will form the top of our screen. So once you've got that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do another row underneath it, except you want to extend out by one. It just wants to be one longer each side. So just do another row underneath and throw one on the end each side exactly like that. Then what you're going to want to do is pretty much the exact same thing you've just done there. You're going to want to do another row underneath what you've done, except again, you're just going to want to add in another block. Just make it one longer each side, so two in total. So from left to right, just coloring in the row and throw another one on the end, like that. Now, what you're going to want to do is you just want to do a repeat of the previous row. You don't want to add any more blocks on, you just want the same row just repeated underneath. Giving you something that should look a little like that. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come over to the end of the left side here, right here, and you're going to want to do a row straight down that is 19 blocks long. So, 1, 9, 19 from this, from this uh, end block here, and I'm just, that's a better position, 19. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I rarely hate building down, I always like building up. I've, <laughs> I tend to make far more mistakes when I'm building down, as you, as you may have seen, almost got 13 wrong. So once you've done that, once you've went down by 13, that row that you've just done, you pretty much just want to duplicate it two more times, like this. You just want to add in two more rows of it to the right of the row that you've just made. So just add one there, and one there, so it should be three rows thick coming towards the center like that. And as you might guess, what we're going to be doing now is the exact same thing on the other side. So go over to the other side here and this end block, bring it down by 19. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And once you've done that, you want to do the exact same thing again. You just want to make it two rows thicker, like that, coming towards the center. So it should be three rows thick, and I'm just measuring it up. Make sure that it is the exact same length of the, as the other side, and it seems to be. And then what you can do, once you've done that, is you can connect them together from the bottom row. So here, just bridge the gap all the way across the middle and connect it to the other side like that. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a bit more shape to the bottom of our screen, kind of like we had, uh, kind of like we did at the top. So what you're going to want to do at the bottom here, you're going to want to do a row underneath what we have here, except it wants to be one block shorter each side. So just leave that block off and just do a row underneath it that is one block shorter each side, like that. And then what you're going to want to do after you've done that is you just want to repeat the row that you've just done. You don't want to make it any shorter or longer. You just want it to be the exact same size like, oops, like that. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do another row underneath what we've just done, except this time it wants to be one shorter each side. So just knock one off each side exactly like so. And now what you're going to want to do is the exact same thing. You just This is the last row of the screen, by the way. Underneath that, you're just going to want to do another row. And again, it just wants to be one shorter each side. And once you've done that, you have your screen. So 
just leave one off the end. And let me show you all of that, all nicely done together. There you go. That is what your screen is supposed to look like. Pause that if necessary, make sure that you've got the proportions right, and we can move on to the next step. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to the bottom of your screen here, your bottom row, and you're going to want to take out your purple again, it's time to do some measuring. And you're going to want to, from this block, you're going to want to find the fifth block in. So, that's the one, two, three, four, five. And underneath that fifth block, you're just going to want to place two purple going down. So, like that. And then, underneath the two purple, you're just going to want to place a black wall, like that, just to mark it out. And you're going to want to do the same thing on the other side as well. So, coming over to the other end of the row, find the first block of the row here, and then find the fifth block. So, one, two, three, four, five. Underneath that, two purple, and then one black. So, you're going to want to have something that looks like that. Alright, so once you've got that, what you want to do is you want to add a row on top of what we've just done that is shorter than the previous row by one, either side. And luckily, we already have the purple there to stop us going any longer. So that's what that wants to look like. And then, what you want to do is you want to do the exact same thing underneath the row. So, the exact same size, it just wants to be one shorter each side, like this. And just in case you're curious what this is supposed to be, on your typical Game Boy Color, underneath the screen would be a Nintendo logo. However, you can't write the uh, word Nintendo in Minecraft on this, unless you were to scale it up. It just doesn't look right, I've tried. So, that's the next best thing. Pause that if necessary, let's continue. Alright, so what you're going to want to do next is come over to the left side of your wannabe logo, and underneath this single block that overhangs your three rows, you're going to want to take out your purple, and you're going to want to go six down from the block. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And underneath that sixth block of purple, you're going to want to place a black wall. And once you've done that, you're going to want to go left of that black wall by six with your black wall. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So what you've done there is you've given yourself a row of seven black wool. And what you're going to want to do underneath that row is two more identical rows of black wool. So one and two. Giving you three layers of seven black wool. What you want to do now, on top of the top row, you're going to want to raise up the three middle blocks, like that. And then you're just going to want to do another layer on top. So you want to have something that looks like that. Now, you're going to want to do the same thing on the underside. So, come down to the bottom, raise the middle three, and then once more, giving you the D-pad of our Game Boy Color. And I think I've only just realized what the D stands for. I think it stands for directional. Wow. All of this time and I've only just figured it out. So that's the D-pad. I hope it's directional now. I'm going to have to Google that. So that's what you want to have. Pause that if necessary. Let's move on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come to the bottom right hand corner of our Game Boy. You're going to want to be on the, like, the bottom row here. Next to the black. And you're going to want to place two purple coming left. So you want to have that. And then, what you're going to want to do on top of the left purple, you're just going to want to go up one with the purple. Then, you want to take out your black wall, and you want to place one on top of the purple. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do three upright diagonals from the black with your black. So, one, two, three. So, you want to have something that looks like that. Now, what you're going to want to do... <clears throat> I can't really explain what you're going to have to do, so I'm just kind of going to do it because it's really easy to see what I'm doing, and I'm just going to, you know, let you figure it out for yourself. You basically want to stack more, like, layers of upright diagonals on top of each other, but since that doesn't really work, you've kind of got to stagger them. Um, but you'll see what I've done. It'll, um, it should be easy enough for you guys to, uh, to figure it out. So that's what you want to do. You want that, like, mishmash waffle pattern 
with your black and purple. You don't have to put the purple in there, but it just makes it easier to build. Um, hopefully you guys can see easy enough what I've done there without too much trouble. And just in case you're curious what that is, that's where the speaker is on the, on the Game Boy. So, pause that if necessary. Now we can move on. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to come over to the most left black here of the speaker, and you're going to want to take out your purple, and you're going to want to go three left with your purple from this little black here. So one, two, three. Then you're going to want to take out black, and you're going to want to go left by five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to want to take out purple again, and you want to go left by three. One, two, three. Then you want to take out your black once more last time. You want to go left by five. One, two, three, four, five. Giving you something that looks like this. So what you did from your speaker, you went three left with purple, five with the black, three with purple, five with the black. Very easy to do. And now what you want to do to finish that little segment off, you're going to want to, on top of your two rows of black, you're going to want to raise the three middle blocks, like so. And as you might have guessed it, you're going to want to raise the three bottom ones as well. So the three bottom ones on both of those rows of five. And just in case you're curious what those are, those are the select and start buttons. Uh, they're not exactly that shape, but that's as close as you can get, really, whilst, you know, in scale with the Game Boy. So, pause that if necessary. I'll show you how that all connects together. Let me give you a better view. There you go. That's how it all connects together. Pause that if necessary. Once you've done that, you can continue. So what you're going to want to do is you now want to come to the top of your waffle pattern. I don't know why I'm calling this little mishmash of black and purple the little speaker. I don't know why I'm calling that a waffle pattern, but there's obviously a reason. You want to come to the top block, and you're going to want to take out your purple, and you're going to want to go up by four. So one, two, three, four. Then you're going to want to take out your black wall, and then you're going to want to go up by four with your black wall. So one, two, three, four, giving you something that looks like that. Now, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to do an identical row to the right of your row of four, giving you that. Then, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to raise up the two middle blocks on the right and left side of your two rows of four, giving you that. Now, what you're going to want to do is, from this block here, like the bottom left block of the little plus sign that you've made right here, you're going to want to go left with your purple by two, so one, two. Then you're going to want to take out your black wool, and you're going to want to carry on the line going left by four. So one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, once you've got your row of four black, you're going to want to do another row of four black underneath it, like so. And as you may be able to see what's going to happen now, you're going to want to raise up the two middle blocks on top of your row of black, and underneath your bottom row of black, giving you an identical shape to the one that you just made a little while ago. And that's what you're going to have, those are the A and B buttons on your Game Boy. They're supposed to be round, admittedly, and, you know, of course they could be labelled. However, with the scale, like a lot of this, you've got to bear in mind you can't get that amount of detail. I mean, if you doubled the size of it, which uh, might be an idea, really, uh, you could get a lot more detail in, but, you know, I wanted to keep this nice and small. So that's what you want to have, that's the A and B button. Pause that if necessary. I'm going to show you what the whole bottom looks like once it's all put together. Actually, I, don't, I was going to try and get the screen in as well, but... There you go, that's what the whole bottom looks like. It might look a bit bad now, but once it's all coloured in, it pulls it all nicely together. So, you know, you've on the top there you've got your logo, um, on the left, you've got your D-pad, you've got your start button, your speakers, your A buttons. There's nothing left to add on there. So what we're going to do now, pause that if necessary, of course, you know, make sure that it's all positioned correctly. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to be putting something on the screen, because we don't just want a blank Game Boy, we don't want it turned off, we want it turned on. So I'm going to be putting a Pikachu on mine, because who doesn't love Pikachu? However, as always, I encourage you to throw in whatever you want to see, if you want to put in Mario, or Sonic, or 
Link or Mega Man, the choice is yours. You could always stick it to the man and throw in a PlayStation logo. That'd make me chuckle. But for those of you that want to do Pikachu, here's what you want to do. You want to come to the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, so right here. You're going to want to take out your white wall, and you're going to want to go right by 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then what you want to do is you want to take out your brown wall, and continuing the line, you're going to want to go 2 to the right with your brown. Then you want to take out your yellow, and you're going to want to go 3 to the right. Then you want to take out your brown once more, and to finish this off, you're going to want to do a single brown wall, like that to give you something that looks a little bit like that. And just to reiterate what I've done there, 8 white, 2 brown, 3 yellow, 1 brown. Pause that if necessary, then you can continue on. As just as a little disclaimer for this next part, I'm going to be doing this a little quicker than usual. Uh, the Pikachu is pretty small and it's confined to this little box, so it should be pretty easy to do. Even without me instructing you, I should be able to just show you a picture of the finished result and you guys could probably figure it out. I'm still going to be doing it and instructing you of course, however, it's just going to be a little quicker than usual. So, with all that said, continuing on, you're going to want to come to your two brown here, and you're going to want to go up left diagonally of them, so on top of this white here, and you're going to want to do three brown, like that. Then, what you want to do, you want to do an up left diagonal from this left brown, with your brown like that, and you're going to want to go up one on top of it, and you're going to want to go right one and left one of the brown, giving you a little T-shape, like that. So, pause that if necessary. Then, what you want to do, on top of the right portion of your T, you're going to want to go one up, three to the right, one, two, three. Then, you're going to want to go down one. Then, you're going to want to do a bottom right diagonal, and you're going to want to go one to the right, giving you something that looks like this. Pretty weird shape, that. Pause that if necessary. Then, what you're going to want to do, coming back over to our T, you're going to want to go on top of the left side this time, you're going to want to go up two, and right one, giving you an even weirder shape, really, something that looks like that. Pause that if necessary. Now, what you're going to want to do, on top of the most leftest and toppest brown block that we have here, you're going to want to go two up with the red, like that. Then, you're going to want to take out your brown again, and left of your two red wool, you're going to want to go two brown, and then you're going to want to supersede the red by two as well, giving you a row of four brown wool in that position right there. Now, what you're going to want to do, on top of your two red wool, you're going to want to go two up with the yellow, like that. Then you're going to want to take out the brown wool, and continuing the line, you're going to want to go three up with the brown, to give you something that looks like that. Now, what you're going to want to do, from the top brown here, you're going to want to do an upright diagonal, and you're going to want to go up from that brown block until you hit the black wall up above you, like that. Then, what you're going to want to do from that top brown block, you want to go right by two, giving you something that looks like that. Then, what you're going to want to do from this right brown wall, you're going to want to do a bottom right diagonal, and you're going to want to go down by three, so one, two, three, or equally so, so it's in line with that row. And what you want to do from the bottom brown wall that you just that you should have just placed, you're going to want to go left one with the brown, but you're also going to want to go to the right, and you want to go to the right by two, so one, two, giving you something that looks like that. Then, what you want to do from this right brown wall here, you're going to want to do three upright diagonals, so one, and two, and three, like so. Then, what you want to do from that third diagonal, you're going to want to go to the right by three, so one, two, three. Then, what you want to do, on top of those three blocks that you just placed, you're just going to want to place three more brown blocks on top of them, like that. Then, what you want to do after that, underneath the two middle blocks of this row of four, you're just going to want to place brown wall, like so. And underneath the left block that you should have just placed, you're going to want to go down by two. Then, what you want to do, after you've went down by that two, you're going to want to do a bottom left diagonal, like that. Then you're going to want to go down one, and right one. Then, what you're going to want to do, from the last block that you just placed, you're going to want to do a bottom right diagonal, and you're going to want to go down by two, one, two. Then, you're going to want to go right one, and then, what you're going to want to do, 
As a matter of fact, this will this will be easier this way around. So this is what you want to have so far. Let me let me show you this right side. I'm not going to show you the left side. That's what you want to have so far. That's uh, there actually his ears at the top. That's supposed to be his right ear. It will make more sense once it's all coloured in. So that's what you want to have. Pause that if necessary. Make sure that that's what you have. And then what you want to do, you want to come down to the bottom again, where you have this single brown wall. And you're going to want to do two upright diagonals from the brown wall. So one and two. And then what you want to do from the second upright diagonal, once you've got your three diagonals lined up there, what you want to do from the third diagonal here, you're just going to want to go up until you join with the previous row giving you something that looked like that. And the reason that I just did that, that way around, was to save me doing some counting, because I'm lazy. <clears throat> so, that's what you want to have so far. That's actually most of the body done. We've just got to do the tail, and I've just noticed that we need to do a little bit of detailing here. So, you want to come down to the... I'm not sure if I, if I showed you. You, uh, you probably got a good enough view of the right side, but that's what you want to have all together, by the way. It should all connect nicely together like that. Pause that if necessary. Once you've got that, you can continue on. So what you want to do from the, coming back down to the diagonals, on top of the middle diagonal, this one here, you're going to want to go two up with your yellow, so one, two. Then you're going to want to do a brown on top of your two yellow. Then you're going to want to do yellow on top of the brown, brown on top of the yellow, and then just throw in another yellow to finish it off and you want to end up with something that looks like that. And they're just the markings on Pikachu's back. You know how he has those brown lines on his back? That's what those are. So continuing on, what you're going to want to do is... Ah, shall we go... I always go clockwise. I always want to go anti-clockwise, but I, it's not in me. It's not in me. So actually, it will help us a little bit if we do this here. So you see how we just add in this brown here? Uh, the like first marking on his back. Well, you want to do a brown in um, on the right side as well, giving you like a cross shape kind of. You want to do that, and that will set us up a little bit later. So after you've done that, what you want to do is you want to come to this little Tetris-looking piece here. You want to want to do an upright diagonal right here. You can see where I've just done that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what you're going to want to do after you've done that diagonal, you're going to want to keep doing upright diagonals from the block that you've just placed until you hit the black wall that is the top of the screen, giving you something that looks like that. Then, what you're going to want to do from that top brown wall, you're going to want to go right one with your yellow, then you're going to want to go right one with your brown like that, so you've got brown, yellow, brown on the top here, and from that right brown, you're just going to want to go down one with your brown, then you're going to want to do a bottom right diagonal with your brown, Made a bit of a mistake there, you only want two brown and a bottom right diagonal with your brown. Then you want to go two down with your brown from that single diagonal that you created, right there. Then what you want to do from the bottom of your three brown, you're going to want to do a bottom left diagonal. Then you're going to want to go left one. Then you're going to want to do another bottom left diagonal, left one. Then you're going to want to do a bottom left diagonal, down one. Then you want to do a bottom right diagonal. Then you want to do a bottom left, oops, bottom left diagonal, and then you just want to go down from that bottom left diagonal until you hit that little brown block that we placed earlier. And let me just show you what you have there for the tail. I know I did the tail quite quick. I should have uh, showed you. Uh, I probably should have showed you a little more as I was building it in stages, but it's pretty easy to do. There's not that much to it. Uh, starting from the top after you've done your diagonals, you want one with the right. You want one to the right with the yellow. Then you did two, uh, two brown coming down. Then you did three brown, two brown, two brown, two brown, one brown, three brown. Pretty easy to figure out. So pause that if necessary. I'm going to be coming back to this once it's light again. I'll be back shortly. All right, so what we have here is the outline of our Pikachu completely finished. All we have to do now is add in a couple of the details and there aren't many of them. So now that it's light, pause that if necessary, make sure that you've got the outline right, and once you have, we can continue on to the details. So, first things first, coming over to the left here, when we place the red, from the bottom red block, you're just going to want to place a yellow going right, you're going to want to place black blocks here and here. So that is his nose and his right eye. Pause that if necessary. Then what you're going to want to do from this bottom single black block, you're going to want to go two to the right with your yellow. Then you're going to want to go two to the right with black. 
And on top of the left black, you're going to want to place a white, and on top of the right black, you're going to want to place another black, giving you something that looks like that. That's his left eye. What you then want to do is you want to do a little red square in this position right here that connects to his eye, and that's of course his little cheek. So you want to have something that looks like that. Not too much detail involved whatsoever, pause that if necessary. Let's continue. So this is the whole Pikachu. That's all of the detailing that you need to do. It's just his little eye, well, little eyes and his cheeks. That's pretty much it. Um, pause that if necessary. Make sure that's what you have. And we have only one thing left to do, and that is the power button. So what you want to do on your Pikachu, you want to come up to his... That would be his right ear, but like... The, the left ear as you're looking at it, but it is technically his right ear. You want to come to this block. Hopefully you can deduce, deduce, deduce um, where this is. And you just want to, it might help you to do this. You might want to take out your white. You just want to go left of it, like here. Like, following the line, going left. And you want to knock out the middle black block that is in the same line and replace it with a red. So it wants to be there. Easy enough to figure out, and that is just the power button of our Game Boy. So let me let me show you what the whole screen looks like with Pikachu on there and the power button as well. So you may want to pause it here and make sure that yours all lines up, and once you've done that, you can take solace in knowing that you've pretty much finished your Game Boy. As you can see, we've done the entire outline, we've done the actual physical details of the Game Boy, we've got the screen on there, we've got Pikachu on the screen, we've even got the little power button. All we have to do now is just colour it in, and that's going to be really easy. I'm not going to be showing me colouring it in because it's going to take a while, but it's very simple. Um, Pikachu, all you have to do now is just colour in the brown lines with yellow. Uh, the rest of the screen just wants to be coloured in with white. And then you just colour everything else in, in between the black lines, with your colour of choice. I'm going to be using purple. You use whatever colour you want. So I'm going to cut out, colour everything in, and I will be back. So this is what your Game Boy should look like once it's all coloured in, and as I said, very easy to do. All you have to do is just colour Pikachu in with yellow, the rest of the screen in with white, and then the rest of the Game Boy in with your colour of choice, in which case, this one's purple. And as some of you may notice, this isn't the Game Boy that I've just made, this is actually my original Game Boy in my Pixel Art 2 world, as you may be able to tell from the link on the left and the Piranha Plant on the right. The reason that I'm showing you this one is, I had a brainwave whilst I was filling it in, I'm going to try something different. I think I'm going to try a different colour combination and I might throw something different on the screen just so that you guys have some contrast, maybe save you some time. I think I'm going to colour it in with green and I don't know what I'll throw on the screen but I'm sure I'll think of something. So if you've copied mine exactly, that's what it should turn out looking like. That's what yours should be. Um, if you're not interested in seeing a different colour combination then thanks for watching and I hope it was easy enough to follow. However, for those of you that want to see something a little different, I'll be back in a second. So this is the other design that I had in my head. I've only just finished doing this and I think I may have kicked myself in the teeth because I think I like this quite a lot better than the dark purple Pikachu one that I've just made. God damn it, I think I'm going to have to destroy the one that I have in my world and replace it with this. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, let me show you a close-up of the screen just in case you guys uh, just in case you guys want this one instead. I mean, obviously, all you have to do is just color yours in lime green, and um, for the screen, I can I can actually get closer. Um, you guys already have the black, and for the screen, um, that is just the standard stock 8-bit Mario. If you were to Google him, like 8-bit Mario, he should come up. Um, you should have no problem copying him. In fact, you might even be able to copy him from there. It's, uh, it's quite obvious how many blocks are where. Um, and in the top right-hand corner, that's actually like the corner of an item box. I kind of hoped that I'd be able to get like a full one in, but I settled for just the corner. And as you can see, that's pretty easy. If you were to Google that as well, like um, Mario 8-bit item box, something along those lines, that might come up. Easy enough, but as you can see, it's just a bit of orange, black, yellow. Throw that black uh, black dot in the corner, and you are good to go. So, um, <laughs> I really do like this one. 
um, the Game Boy that I own, that I actually still have, and the Game Boy Color, I still have it after all of these years. Um, mine's lime green. Maybe that's why I like it. I don't know which one's better. Oh, I, I do like the more colourful things. Anyway, that's that's enough talking from me. Um, I hope that this was easy enough for you guys to follow. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you actually like it. I'm not sure where you guys will stand on it, but thanks for watching, and see ya. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, maybe you should think about subscribing. I have plenty more stuff like this on my channel. I have tutorials ranging from YouTube statues, skin statues, houses, Pixel, the list goes on. Thanks for watching.